Formula One is considered to be one of the most technologically advanced racing leagues in the world, with the application of a superior engine, a streamlined and optimized chassis, and an experienced team, this sport involves a lot of strategies and thought processes, evidencing all of the crucial aspects that can be determined through machine learning, so make sure you stay with us till the end. My name is Alex, and you are watching AI News Daily. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel to receive more updates and learn more, and also let us know in the comments section about your favorite benefit of machine learning. With that, let us get to this video. We all would already be acquainted with the concept of probability. Back when we were young, the chances are that we would all have gone through the mathematical problems of finding the probability of an event occurring at some point in time. Machine learning, though it's not exactly a probability check, is the concept where one understands a machine and the way it responds to make certain adjustments and work accordingly to retrieve maximum efficiency out of it. As a matter of fact, with the developments in technology, anything in this world can now be quantified and predicted by processing it through data processing and artificial intelligence technologies. This capability that this technology has brought it closer to sports and has for long been integrated into the roots of sports throughout the world. As time progresses, we will certainly notice more use cases and applications for this technology, and we think its potential is vast enough to accumulate more use cases in the coming times. Formula One and how this technology is used in the cars requires a combined effort from various sensors, routers, connectivity platforms, centralized communications, and other solutions that will promote effective collaboration of various hardware and software present in the cars. This information gathered by these sensors will then be sent through the data processing and artificial intelligence software to run diagnostics, and the output will be vital information, critical to jot down a strategy for the teams in the upcoming race. The information coming out of these sensors includes everything starting from tire temperatures, crucial at certain turns, all the way to engine response on the straight lines. A correct understanding of all this information is what makes for a successful race day. Let us look a bit deeper at the information the teams get through the sensors and how valuable they are. On average, the 120 sensors on a Formula One car generate approximately 3 gigabytes of data during a race. This means that at any second, there are 1500 data points. This number is huge already. Thinking of accumulating each one of them and coming up with a strategy sounds tedious, doesn't it? Well, that is why there is a huge amount of money involved in this sport. The data scientists in Formula One are born with the responsibility of accumulating all of this data, using the Amazon SageMaker software to train deep learning models based on the 35 years of historical data. This data helps them retrieve a lot of information, make forecasts and also extract the statistics involved in each race. This data is something that the fans hunt for to make their decision on whom to support in a race. As a matter of fact, a lot of the strategies being implemented by the teams are also based on this data being accumulated over the years, as they understand the impact a move could have through the historical data they have. Speaking of sensors, in our daily life, one of the most frequently used sensors is the weather sensor. This is almost the same in the case of Formula One, with just one exception. The entire race strategy depends on this one factor. Sounds important, but how important? Let us find out. Access to live weather reports does not seem to fulfill the hunger of the F1 teams to make a decision. They need to come prepared for any unpredicted event that could occur on race day. Coming only with slicks to a wet day could be a disaster for any team. Remember Romain Grosjean's crash at the Bahrain Grand Prix? That is one incident that runs chills through the spines of all racers and teams. Such incidents are exactly what the race teams are fearful of, and hence, strategizing for good safety is one of the top reasons for accumulating such data. The occurrence of such a crash is hard to predict. The teams generally need to be aware at all times and take necessary precautions to make sure that injuries are minimized. This was about the predictability of an incident occurring on race day. There are even more inconsistencies while speaking of penalties. There are multiple types of penalties that a driver and the team need to be aware of. The penalties incurred during the race are generally for any forms of illegal moves or minor incidents on track. These incidents call for penalties in the form of time. Penalties of this nature could destroy the position of a driver and pull him down to the lower spots. 
This, as a result, could change the entire outcome of a race, and hence, a driver needs to be aware of such incidents. Grid penalties are the next important thing that the teams need to worry about. As a matter of fact, the teams need to be aware of all of the FIA regulations and the limitation on the number of components that they are allowed to use over a season, non-compliance to which could call for grid place penalties. Essentially, these are the penalties that lead to a fall in the grid place at the start of a race. These penalties are imposed on the car for using more than the stipulated number of components over a year. The reason for this is to ensure a fair game between the richer teams and others. A wealthier team may be able to afford newer components for each race. However, this may not be the case for others. Therefore, it is extremely important to ensure that the teams stick to the limits prescribed in the FIA regulations and strategize the use of each component to suit the same. The use of extra components may lead to a 5 or 10 plays grid penalty. The teams could also roll over any unused penalty to future races. As you may have noticed already, strategy plays a very important role in the modern day Formula 1. A huge number of decisions are taken spontaneously based on the circumstances that arise. These circumstances are unpredictable and therefore need to be dealt with utmost care. The most the teams can do is be prepared for all possible circumstances that could arise during a race. For example, mechanical failures are one of the most common elements on race day. However, as durability standards and technology rose, there have been times when teams reported zero chassis failures throughout a season in 2006. This was a remarkable achievement and showcased the level of reliability noticed in the modern day Formula 1. While we say this, it is also important to keep in mind that the chances of mechanical failures are always high and the teams need to be able to predict the maximum number of components to be able to ensure that they use their resources in the most efficient manner and even more importantly, handle the logistics better. One other important aspect of being considered, which could turn very challenging, is the track redevelopment. The weekends are normally predetermined and the teams already have a good idea of the challenge that lies ahead of them. However, at times, there are chances that certain tracks are either introduced or modified in some manner that could change the entire strategy that the team lays down. When this happens, it is important for the team to gather enough data to help them determine a good strategy that will help them work in a better manner. The older data they have will then be irrelevant as the track itself would have gone through a major redevelopment. Machine learning is also used to produce the winners of each race. This is used by many private individuals to predict the winner and also to determine the factors that may play a crucial role in the process. A lot can be determined by the fact that who starts the race at pole position. This racer certainly has a good advantage due to the clean air in front of him and no friction from a car in front of him. The only pressure in such cases is the pressure from behind which needs to be duly managed. The driver needs to make sure he commits no error in such pressure which is again an inconsistency that needs to be dealt with. So, we hope this video helped you gather a lot of information on the importance of machine learning and its role in determining the strategy that a team takes through a race. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and let us know in the comments section about your favorite use case of machine learning. Also, let us know what you would like to hear in the following videos. Until then, keep learning and exploring.